All right, so I'm normally not at this angle, number one. And number two, uh, this is probably a video I should have done years ago. And uh, it took uh, my mom needing the video for me to actually do it. So uh, thanks, mom. But uh, here's, uh, this is actually, I, I, I can't take credit for this. The only thing I can take credit for is uh, taking this from a mentor of mine and using it with countless clients over the last 10 plus years uh, to help them with neck and shoulder issues, headaches, uh, arms falling asleep while you're sleeping, um, all those pieces of the puzzle. And uh, it's, it's only, I only took it from uh, a former uh, mentor of mine, Fred Shin, uh, who is an area athletic trainer and, and physical therapist, former boss of mine. Uh, and uh, I'm so thankful for it because it's been so helpful for my clients. This is something that I do on a regular basis and I notice, notice an immediate change in the way that my shoulders feel, uh, the way that my neck feels, and also uh, I am someone who has a tendency, my hands and my uh, arms fall asleep while I'm sleeping. Um, I'm a side sleeper, so I'm kind of jammed up here. Uh, and this has been something that's really been beneficial for me. So uh, I'm gonna show you each exercise and this is the best angle I can show you at. If you notice, I have a trusty foam roller here. Uh, the other thing that you can use for this, uh, it's not as much of a stretch, but it is more stable, is you can actually use a half foam roller, uh, but you want this curved side uh, on your spine, okay? And so I sit with my bottom on the very end of the, of the uh, foam roller, and I will lie back, and I have that, that foam roller going right up my spine, and all the way up to the base of my head so my head can rest on the foam roller. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some stretches initially. So now I can't tell you this is exactly the way Fred uh, did it back in, back in the day. This is something that I've kind of made my own modifications and maybe spins to it. Uh, but this is what I've found as the best thing for me and my clients and uh, it's been productive. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to be into an A position is what I call this. So my palms are up. And I'm just relaxing and letting those shoulders drop. And what'll happen here is that upper back will just kind of fold and wrap around that foam roller. Uh, so one, you're gonna get a stretch on the front side, but you'll also feel some kind of massage and almost like a little bit of soft tissue work on the back side because it's hitting some of those trigger points in the mid back. So this is position one. We're gonna hold these positions for 30 seconds for these first four stretches. So this is number one. Number two is then going out into a T position. And again, we're just letting those arms relax. The third position that we're gonna go into is going to be a Y position. And again, another 30 second hold. And then the last one is going to be a W position. Now, when you're in the Y position and the W position, if for some reason you have any pain or discomfort in a shoulder, uh, you may wanna avoid those positions for the first couple of times that you do this. Uh, because when you get up here, you start to maybe impinge that rotator cuff. Um, if it's tight, that's one thing. If it's causing some pain or discomfort in the top of that shoulder, uh, maybe take a few sessions to get used to those positions there, okay? Um, we always want to focus on pain-free range of motion and pain-free position as best as possible um, for, the, for someone who's got a painful shoulder. After that, so those four positions, A, T, Y and W, 30 second holds on each. We're gonna bring those hands back down. I'm gonna have those palms up at my hip, and then the other arm is gonna be up above my head, and the palm up as well. So as I rotate, I'm just gonna go up and down, rotating those hands to always have the palms facing up at the end range of motion. We're gonna do 20 of these, or 10 each side, okay? Once you're done with those, you're gonna move out into that T position again, but this time we're gonna do a fly or what I call claps. Um, I've tried to just name these so my clients remember what they are each time. But again, we'll do 10 of these. After that, we go into a bench press, and it is kind of what it sounds like, so I'm gonna bring my elbows back to the floor, press straight up and back down. We'll do 10 of those. Next one we're gonna do is hugs. So now I'm gonna take that same position, but instead of going straight up, I'm gonna go and hug myself. And then I just alternate the arm of which comes up. And 10 of those. Next one is what I call X to Y. I'm gonna make an X across my hips, and I'm gonna bring those arms up into the Y position. 
and then I'm going to alternate which hand comes over top. X to Y. X and Y. Alternating the arm that comes on top. Once I'm done with those guys, I'm going to go back down to that A position that I was previously at. And this is a little different. I'm actually going to try to squeeze my shoulder blades into the foam roller. Okay, so I'm trying to wrap those shoulder blades around the foam roller, squeezing back and then relaxing. Just a short squeeze, 1,001, and relax. I'm gonna do 10 of those. And then finally, we're gonna do a heel reach. So my arms are still gonna be relaxed on the ground. I'm just gonna slide them. I'm gonna reach down towards my heels, try to reach my fingertips to my heels, and then relax. This is what we call a shoulder depression. So we spend a lot of our time with our shoulders shrugged up, and those traps get really inflamed and irritated. All we're gonna do is just Reach for the heels and relax. And we'll do 10 of those. Now when you're done with that, you don't want to just sit straight up off the foam roller. So what we'll do is we'll actually roll off to the side and then sit up into that seated position. So uh, again, most of the reps here are 10 rep sets minus the alternating arms one. That's going to be 20 total. Your four holds, the A, the T, the Y, and the W, those are gonna be 30 second holds. This is something that you can do every day, okay? I like to do it in either right before bed or right when I get up in the morning. Uh, and again, if you struggle with the mobility or the, or the stability on the full, full foam roller, okay, you can always use a half one. You can get these online. I also use a high density foam roller on these um, because usually the low density ones end up kind of collapsing and crushing under your body weight. Make sure that your tailbone is at one end and your head is supported on the other end. So try this out. Again, this is great for our shoulders, our necks, um, our upper back and mid back area, uh, especially those of you that struggle with some of this stuff with sleep and maybe you got a bad pillow or maybe you get, you're in a bad uh, sleeping position and those hands or arms fall asleep when you're sleeping. Try this out next time. Again, you can thank my mom for helping me create this video because anytime your mom tells you to do something, you do it right away, even if it's been a number of years. And big thanks to Fred Shin, a uh, huge mentor of mine over the years. And this was one, again, I can't take credit for it, but I will take credit for giving it and uh, stealing it from him and giving it to a lot of my clients over the years. Have a great day, guys.